Hey guys, before we get started, I got new hat styles in stock. I still got hoodies. And uh, yeah, check it out, shopacehunt.com. All right guys, so we're three weeks away from duck season. So I thought I'd bring back the Foul Fridays and uh, answering a very common question between these two, the most expensive waders on the market. We've got the Shin and we got the Sitka Delta Zip waiter. First off, when you when you think about these waders, you're like, well, what's it cost? We've got $9.99 over here. That's $999. And we got $1,100 even on the Shin. So you see the price and you're like, why would I spend $1,000 on waders? It's all in the warranty. I've went through five pairs of waders in the last uh, six years. So spending three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars sometimes on a pair of waders to just throw them in the garbage because companies won't warranty them is behind me. So I got tired of that, and uh, I actually got me a pair of Sitka waders, full cost, mainly for the warranty. This warranty is great on Shin as well. So the warranty on both are great. I'm gonna uh, pop, pop a thing up right here to show you their warranty guidelines and everything. Uh, both of them are great. I think Shin's warranty is actually better than uh, Sitka's here. But this is still a fairly new company, so I don't know long term how the warranty will be. Uh, these wires have been out a good bit for them to be going, still going on the warranty standpoint. So after you get through the whole spending the thousand, eleven hundred dollars, uh, you're going to come to what color do I want? So Shin over here, they offer the original Bottomland, the Bottomland now, which I call a new school. Uh, they offer mossy oak habitat and shadow, which is like black. Sitka over here offers, um, this is earth, which is a brown and tan. They off also offer um, optifade marsh and optifade timber. So you got the three over here, three styles over here, four choices over here to pick from. Um, that is the main reason why I ended up going with Sitka's. I've tried these on before, I love how they fit, but the brown should be a standard option in my opinion, and that's why I went with Sitka, because of the color. Both these waders are also uninsulated, both of them. They also have the front zipper. These are the same exact zippers on both of them. They're aqua seal uh, zippers. They, you kind of think like, what, can't water get through the zipper? No, they're waterproof. If you're unfamiliar with how the uninsulated works, it works on a layering system. Uh, people that I know that have them, these actually aren't mine, but people that I know that have worn them say that these can be even warmer than your regular insulated and uh, way lighter and way more free. The people say you can't even feel that they're on. It feels like a pair of pants. So then, uh, so now let's get into our boots. Sitka has the lacrosse, biggest name in the industry, boot on here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I tried these on and they're super comfortable. And this is probably one of the most important parts of your waders is if you're walking in a mile, feet gonna hurt or not. So boots are super important. I can definitely tell just by holding both of them here that uh, the shins are a little bit more lighter, but the Sitka's are more bulkier and seem a little bit more durable just from the sides here because this seems to hold its form a little more than these. Uh, the shins are an in-house made boot. They're 1200. Uh, I'm not sure what the Sitka's are. I couldn't find that anywhere, but you can tell the tread pattern right there. The Sitka's are definitely thicker, but uh, I'm sure they both hold up just fine. Now let's talk about each individual feature. So for the Sitka's, we got our fleece line waiter pocket up here. We've got two zip pockets right here. Hold your phone, 
wallet, whatever have you, you've got your knee pads. That is something that the shins does not offer, but I do like it a lot because hunting the public land in Arkansas, bumping into trees, and that can go, that can definitely poke a hole in your waiter. And with them being uninsulated, there's less there to lock you. Well, they're not somewhere at all, actually. These are non-stretch, but they do have the uh, support here, which I like a lot. These are just stretchy, but they are comfortable. And what I really do like about both of these waders is they have this buckle. Do this side. They have the buckle where you don't have to worry about anything breaking. So you just slide it on there just like so. Walks in, you ain't gonna worry about it coming out, breaking or anything. Uh, we've got both of our belts here. I think I like this design a little better, but you can definitely tell that this one is probably gonna last a lot longer than this belt long term uh, because it's so heavy duty. This one's really just stretchy. It, the Sikas also have this clip D-ring clip over here, or D-ring over here. One thing I like about the shins that the Sikas don't have, they've got the zippers over here in case you get into deep water, as well as, they also have the support behind the zipper here. And I don't know, I like it because it feels like, I don't know, but I like that a lot. Also like the straps. Also, they have pockets on each side for hot hands or phone or whatever yeah I also talk about sizing I would really recommend trying it on they have size charts for both of them but I would recommend trying them on before you got them because there's several different configurations of both waders and uh, yeah both of them have their layering systems both companies make their layering systems to fit and for you to be the most warmest and most comfortable so that's another reason I like these waders here uh, you can watch how long it takes me to put them on. Both of them are the same way, but for the zip waiter, it is so much faster than regular breathables. Still not broken yet. And then you got your belt. That's it. Super quick for both of them. I like them a lot. I would try those on, but uh, those are for little man. <laughs> so between the two waders, it all boils down to personal preference. Me personally, I picked the Sitka's mainly due to the color. They have a couple added features that Shin don't. And Shin has a couple added features that they don't. But generally speaking, they're pretty much very similar waders. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you want to buy a more price reasonable waiter, I would highly suggest the Gator waders. Uh, they're super comfortable. One of the most comfortable insulated waders that we wear. Uh, I still have a pair. But uh, yeah, I decided to switch out to this this season. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. It's all personal. Thank you for watching. I don't know if I gave you a, a game breaker decision here on between the two, but I hope it helped help you figure out what you're looking for. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Foul Friday here, and tune in next Friday. It's gonna be a better one than this one. This one wasn't that great. So y'all stay tuned.